Hey guys, so welcome to my tutorial. Um, we're gonna be making these puff mini bags. Um, so yeah, follow along and let's get to going. So you want to begin with your materials. You need one skein of the chunky yarn and a pair of scissors and just your hands. Um, I like to begin by creating a slip knot. And what you want to do is make it look like a fish. I'll slow it down, but place the shorter tail in over top the longer tail in. Um, it looks like a fish or like a cancer symbol, but yes, you want to do that. And then what you want to do next is take that loop and pull the longer tail in through the loop. Again, pull the long tail in through the loop to create a knot. Now you should come up with something like this with the shorter tail in at the top and the longer tail in at the bottom. And what you want to do now is take the longer tail in and pull it through that loop to start creating chains. Um, again, you want to pull that longer tail in or longer string and pull it through that loop. And you have to do this eight times in total so six more times after this and you'll get your eight again pull the longer tail in through the loop to start creating your chains i'm just speeding it up um, because i feel like it's self-explanatory and you should come out with something like this again it should be eight across now to begin our first row we want to start in the second chain from the loop the second chain from the loop not the first chain the second chain from the loop not the first chain again um the second chain from the loop we want to begin in we want to begin creating loops by taking the longer tail in and pulling that uh yarn through the chains that were created in the first i mean the beginning of the video again you just want to pull that longer tail in um through the chains creating loops all the way to the end it should look something like this Again, you want to take the longer tail in and create a loop by pulling it through the chains that were created at the beginning of the video. And it should look something like this, somewhat of like a, a octopus, if that makes sense. To begin row two, you just want to repeat the same process from row one by taking the long tail in and creating loops by pulling them through the previous loops that were created from row one, as you can see. So again, you just want to take the longer tail in and work your way to the end of the row by pulling loops through the loops that were already created. Finishing up row two, it should look something like an octopus, but bigger. Now for these bags, you need a total of six rows. And so this process is pretty repetitive. So um, I'm going to come back when we're on row six. Yes. Yeah, so we're just going to continue that. We should be on row six by now. Um, you should know that you're on row six because you should be working from left to right. And your longer tail end should be on the right side of this rectangle that you have created. Now to seal our rectangle and begin to create that bag shape, we want to basically work from left to right, pulling the loops on your right through the loops to your left if that makes sense we want to create sort of like a slip stitch again you just want to continue working away from left to right by pulling the loops on your right side or to your right through the loops on your left all the way till you get to the end of the row where that longer tail end is so it should look something like this somewhat of like a braid now we want to create the straps and so i'm going to slow it down but what you want to do is take that longer tail in and pull it through the loop the final loop uh, at the end of the row and we're just going to create those chains like we did in the beginning of the video you need a total of 10 chains but this is really subjective you can create the strap as long as you want but i just did a total of 10 um for my bag so continue doing that again you need a total of 10 chains and i'll come back when we have finished that now what we want to do is clip the excess yarn and from there we're going to flip the we're going to fold the bag or the rectangle in half to create sort of like a square and then i'm going to put this in slow motion 
but you want to take that loop well basically take the, that tail in and pull it through the center the center or the side um to basically create that strap shape and then pull it through the loop and tighten it um whatever you like to do with the tail end is your choice i just like to weave it through or feed it into the uh, rows of the bag um to just hide it and then you can pretty much like tie that off or create a knot okay so now we want to seal this bag and what we're gonna do is it's gonna seem very complicated i do this two ways but what you want to do is take a scrap piece of yarn and basically tie both of the 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 side of the bag together at the top edge where you connected the strap and you want to pull that end of that yarn through both sides um of the bag and then wrap the piece to your right around the piece to your left and pull it tight i'm going to put it in slow motion so um so that you can catch it real quick but yeah what you want to do is take the end piece of the yarn tail and pull it through both ends or both sides and take that piece to your right and wrap it around a piece to your left and pull it through so yeah that, that seemed very complicated but it, it'll secure the bag very well now on to the simpler way to secure what you want to do is work front to back pushing the tail end of the yarn through the front side and pushing it to the back side and pulling it through and then starting again pushing that tail end of yarn through the front side pulling it to, through the back side and pulling it tight to secure it and so you want to continue to do that all the way till you get to the end i know that sounds a little like it seems more complicated than it, than it is but again you'll see here just pulling it through the front piece um to the back and so on and so forth now you should have something like this and what we want to do is basically clip the excess and take those extra ends and just weave them through um just to hide those and from there we should have something like this as you can see we secured it and um now we're going to flip it inside out. Sorry. We're going to flip it inside out, Chels. Okay. And it should look something like this. Voila. So thank y'all for watching my tutorial. Hopefully this made sense. And hopefully this makes you want to make more bags. Until next time. Bye-bye.